Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the May BAM box horror box. And actually, if people have been watching my videos, you know I was talking about dropping the pop culture box and I have officially dropped that pop culture box. So the only BAM thing I'm gonna be getting is horror and I don't plan on stopping that. So this will still be coming. Uh, I did replace the pop culture box. I replaced it with the Fright Crate. So my first Fright Crate actually should be coming in the next week or so. I was under the impression that they released uh, during the same month that it is, but I was incorrect. So my May box will be here in June, and then my June box will be here in July, and you know, blah, blah, blah. But we'll go more into Fright Crate stuff when it's an actual Fright Crate unboxing. Uh, but for now, let's hit this. All, all this damage and this is not, that was me. That wasn't the Postal Service because I, you know, wanted to take the tag off and everything. So, um, I don't, well, get this lighting better. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, I don't remember any of the franchises. I feel like it's been a while. So, I don't know. Oh, also, something to update people on while I pull out tissue paper. <coughs> Excuse me, for my cat. Uh, apparently, they're going to be doing a Funko Pop, a signed Funko Pop in the BAM Box Horror Box in... It may be for June, it may end up being for July or August or something, like, uh, Adam MacArthur, the CEO, announced it, but he didn't, he said that they're still trying to work everything out, so it might, they don't know what month it's going to be, but that's exciting, I think that's super cool, so, alright, so first thing, there's something that's kind of weird, for someone like me, this, this is, okay, this prop item is quite interesting, because, if people don't know, I, I do a craft beer podcast. I've been doing this craft beer podcast for over six years now. It's called Brutal Battle. Uh, that's why at the end of each video, sorry for all the noise, why at the end of each video I say keep it brutal because it's something for my podcast. It's spelled B-R-E-W-T-A-L, uh, Brutal Battle Podcast. Check it out. It's on like iTunes, uh, Stitcher, Google Play, all that stuff. So this is interesting because it is a beer bottle with a label cerveza chango what is that from i don't know obviously i should show you guys can someone tell me down in the comments can someone tell me in the comments what that's from well actually i guess i'm not going to need you to tell me that because i'm going to read the spoiler sheet so that'll tell me oh cat's already on the tissue paper i told you she loves this tissue paper it's amazing um, I kind of, I think this is a cool type of prop. They've never done anything like this before. Obviously it's cool for someone like me because I love craft beer and I have craft beer podcast and I'm into horror. So this is kind of like the perfect crossover of horror and craft beer. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I like that. I just don't know what it's from. Something about it says, I don't know why it says drag me to hell. Something reminds me of that, but I'm sure it's not that we'll, we'll find out anyway. Um, the next thing is, Oh, I guess eh, I'm going out of order of what I usually do. Next is the signed item, I believe. Hand signed by Ricky Dean Logan, who played Carlos in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Oh, sweet. So they are doing now, if you didn't see the last one, they're doing these little um, certificates of authenticity where they have like an actual number here that you can reference if you go to the website so you can know about the signing that it actually happened it's like an extra protection on the certificate so uh, and this is interesting okay so it's like a mini chalkboard kind of is what it looks like there you go that, that looks pretty sweet actually that's kind of a cool piece I like that and that's his autograph. So I guess I can probably just like tape this or stick it on the back somehow. Just do it back here so that that then can be hung up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Once again, that's another thing they've not done before. So I dig that. And maybe that's what this is. My one up. I did get a one up. I feel like I get a lot of one ups. I'm not saying it's a YouTuber thing. But I'm not not saying it's a YouTuber thing. I actually don't know for sure. I'm just speculating that maybe if they know you're a YouTuber, they might do that. I don't know. I know people have said that in the past. I'm not sure about it. Um, next, do one of my favorites, the pin. The pin is Thick as Thieves. And Brian Romero did it. That is a familiar name to me. I know he's done a few of these at least. Oh, looks like um, Devil's Rejects. 
looks like Bill Mosley's character from Devil's Rejects. Which, if uh, the trailer for Three from Hell should be coming up sometime soon. Uh, this this was my upgrade actually. This is out of two hundred and fifty. I gotta find out what number, guys. Number twenty seven. Pretty low. Yeah, number twenty seven out of two fifty. That's not bad. Yeah, I think that's what that is. This Devil's Rejects. It looked like Bill Mosley's character. Um, looks pretty good. If that's who it is, perfect. If that's not who it is, I'm confused. <laughs> All right, now let's get to the art print. My other, you know, big time favorite thing. Uh, this art print is from do, 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 Frank Dean. That name is not familiar to me with these boxes. Uh, it is titled Killer Mask. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's, you know, this is cool, man. I got number 947 out of 2000, Scream. And it's just kind of a, you know, stylized artist rendering of kind of a Scream poster. Yeah, that's fine. So the actual, like, artist portion is just the mask, obviously. This is just graphics of, you know, just taking from an actual poster with the names and everything. So, I mean, I think that's cool. I like the layout of it. I like how there's, like, the nice amount of black space to the side. And then the, the screen mask is on the other side. I like the look of that. I think it's kind of, like, kind of classy, in my opinion. I know some people, if they get this, they'll probably be like, oh, that's dumb. There's not enough to it. But for me, sometimes simplistic is good. And with a, a movie like Scream, because I know a lot of their marketing stuff was kind of simplistic. Plus, the mask is very simplistic. And that's, like, the focal point of marketing with the film. Like, this is what everyone remembers um, image-wise. So it makes sense. So simplistic in this instance makes sense. It works. I like it. That's good. Um, and that was it for the items. So let's find out what some of these things were from. So obviously I wasn't 100% on the pin. I think I knew. Definitely had no clue on the beer bottle. So I'm interested to see what that is. But good. I was right. Devil's Rejects for the pin. I was right. I was right. I was right. So gotta be honest. The best of these pins. And you'll see what I mean in a second when I show you. Was the common one. Was uh, Captain Spaulding. You know Sid Haig's character. As you can see, and then there's Bill Mosley's character, and then there's Sherry Lynn Moon's character, who, blah. Um, I wouldn't want that one, to be honest, even though it is the rarest, uh, only 99 made. I hate her acting. I think she's a terrible, terrible actress, and anytime I'm watching a Rob Zombie movie and I see that she's in it, I just roll my eyes so hard because her acting is the worst, and I just cannot stand when directors put family members love interests whatever in film if they're not talented and she is not talented so it's just like oh my god but devil's rejects is cool i'm glad that they finally put devil's rejects in a box and i'm good with the pins and i'm glad i got the bill mosley and not the sherry lynn moon because okay so we had the autograph from ricky dean logan from freddie's dead the final chapter and yeah, everyone got one of these. Now it's kind of hard to see on there, but yeah, it's just, yeah, actually on the thing in real life, it just doesn't show up that well, but it's a picture of him signing. Um, yeah, that's cool. I mean, it, it's like, no pun intended, but like thinking outside the box with a lot of stuff, like I feel like they're starting to do a lot more of that recently. You know, the Funko Pop signed Funko Pops. They had a signed prop. I think in the last horror box was the signed knife. This one, they have this signed little, like, um, mini blackboard. I mean, it's kind of cool. Like, people can get, you know, different stuff. I like getting different stuff. But this is what's not cool, something that I always rail against. The variation on the art print is surely a color change. Uh, and it's the limited one was out of 500. You'll see what I mean here. It's white or it's light red. Hate it. I hate that. I, I say this every friggin' time. If you're just changing the color, it's not enough. It's not a rare thing. Do something significantly different. This is another thing where, like, a very small thing you could do to make this change that horror fans would like and think is cool is if you put blood splatter on it instead. This turned to the color of, of like, a light red is not that cool. I would actually rather have the white one because it looks like the film. But if you splatter blood across it, 
that I want that version because what horror fan wouldn't want that version? I'm just saying. People, put a comment down there if you agree with me. I mean, you can also comment if you don't agree with me, but I think you should agree with me on that one. Um, then we have, oh, it was from Dust Till Dawn, the beer bottle. Okay. It's been a while since I've watched that movie, but I really do like that movie a lot. I really like that movie. And I know there are a lot of people out there who are kind of like split on it, who are like, let me fix this lighting real quick. There we go. A little less harsh. Um, I know there's some people out there who are just like, I don't really like it because when I saw it, I didn't know it was going to be a vampire film. And it kind of feels like it's two movies mashed together, which I understand. But I think it's like two good movies mashed together. So I got no problem. I actually really like it. I'm also just a big Quentin Tarantino fan. I think he pulled the uh, like the criminal getaway portion of the film off really well and then he pulled the vampire portion off really well he had you know some of his own twists on vampire that i really enjoyed and i think it's an awesome film um yeah so the beer bottles from from dust till dawn which i'll have to look out for that the next time i watch it which i feel like this just seeing that makes me want to go watch the movie i do own it over my stacks further over but um I was also listening to, I got to tell you guys this, because if you're true horror fans, you'd appreciate this. If anyone hasn't watched the uh, AMC show, which is actually uh, available on the Shutter streaming service now, uh, Eli Roth's History of Horror, super awesome. It's like a really intellectual analysis, each episode of a different subgenre of horror film. And they do some awesome deep dives with some really awesome celebrity interviews. Like I'm talking people like Stephen King, uh, Joe Hill, Tony Todd, um, I can't even think of everyone right now. There's just so many cool people. And now, that's been out for a while, and I watched that some time ago, but now they're releasing as a podcast, which you can get on iTunes and everywhere else, I believe, uh, the uncut interviews with these celebrities. So they have some really cool stuff out there. They just put out the Bruce Campbell one, which I haven't gotten to yet, but I was listening to one with Quentin Tarantino, where Eli Roth is interviewing him, and they actually talked a decent amount about From Dust Till Dawn. So that was really cool. So having recently listened to that about Dust From Dust Till Dawn, and then now getting this, another From Dust Till Dawn, I think it's maybe a sign that I should, like, rewatch From Dust Till Dawn. Anyway, sorry, I'm, you know, dragging this out. But hopefully it's information you guys are interested in. Hopefully. You can let me know down there in the comments. Not on my shirt or my crotch. Um... Then the big giveaway they were doing was a Robert Kirkman signed Walking Dead um, comic book. 9.8 grade comic book. That's pretty sweet. Look at this. That's a cool. Whoever won that, that's a really good one. That's one that's going to be immediately worth some good money and in the future worth some good money. So, pretty sweet. Um, Yeah, I like this box. I'm good. Uh, really dig it. Uh, the, yeah, the pin was pretty solid. Like I said, this is definitely cool for me, especially now knowing that it's from, from Dust Till Dawn, which I really like, but you know, the, the coming together of craft beer and horror, love it. That's cool. Good job, you guys. Uh, like I said, I am down with this, even though it's simplistic, I think it works. It's cool. And the signature, um, the different signature, well, I don't need to reshow it to you. You saw it. It's just a signature. Anyway, I, I think it's cool that they're doing different things. So really good uh, box. Very happy with it. And uh, May was my birthday month. So thanks, Bam, for making it a good birthday month box. Uh, don't, I can't remember what the next properties are going to be. Um, but if you guys want to know, you can check out their Facebook page. They always put a picture up of what the next month's properties are going to, or franchises are going to be. So you can get excited for that. And like I said, they're going to have a horror Funko Pop sign at some point in the coming months. So that should be super awesome. But uh, thank you everyone for checking this out. Please hit that subscribe if you like any of my videos. And speaking of which, if you are into horror, I'm not just doing these unboxings. I'm trying to make a lot of horror related content on this channel. So I'm doing a lot of movie reviews. I'm doing some book reviews. Um, just kind of talking about some horror in general. I have a lot of stuff related to the Shutter streaming service because I really like it. Um, so excuse me if you're not big on that but um yeah check it out and hit subscribe it really helps me out a lot it doesn't take much time for you uh put something down in the comments what you think about this box are you getting it are you not getting it do you wish you got it do you wish you didn't get it um because we all have different opinions i liked it but let's geek out down there and talk 
and you can give a thumbs up, but you don't have to. I'd rather have the subscribe. But thank you so much once again, and until next time, keep it brutal.